welcome back today we are going to see uh, how to give the property name first I am going for the cockpit windshields and I am selecting all the necessary entities right click new and then it will prompt a window like this and I am naming it as windshield of cockpit and double click to accept it go to the PID mode and then you cannot the uh, PIDs and I want to create the nose as different PID so I am selecting those two entities uh, right click new P shell and the name as aircraft nose so AC nose just click OK and then double click to accept and I, wa I am hiding that and now I want to set PID for the cockpit door Oh, I hide it okay now I selected it it's cockpit door accept it and now going to uh, name this horizontal stabilizer region and I am going to include that fillet regions also into the horizontal stabilizer yes it's also added so it's better to uh, enter and right click new PCL and name it as horizontal stabilizer yes double click to accept it yes you can hide this also if you wish now going to name vertical stabilizer accept it so I had uh, mm, both uh, horizontal and vertical stabilizers now I am concentrating on the tail cone so I want the tail cone to be in different PID but I want to uh, avoid that door regions from being assigned to that same PID so first of all I am assigning PID for all that regions new and then bring those yes it's door row likewise we are selecting the bottom uh, doors also setting a PID yes we can hide now all these things we are now going to uh, set PID name for small windows which are uh, located in the longitudinal axis uh, and at the outer periphery of the fuselage for the visibility of passengers so that I have filtered and now I am selecting and uh, I am making a top row so door uh, sorry it's 
its windscreen and side just name uh, double click to accept and then the, select the bottom row uh, windscreens double click to accept and you can hide those also now now we can set PID for the tail alone we have uh, avoided those doors because we hidden those doors and windows or windscreens we are setting uh, fuselage PID this is main body of fuselage and then we are going to mm, include this also into that so just do like this while asking name uh, select a one PID so that will be assigned um, now for all these uh, logos then PID needs to be set like the same as the uh, surrounding one so I am just copying oh. is selecting all those and I just assigned everything to the same PID now I am joining uh, those uh, surfaces which was splitted using cut function of uh, because of the logo actually that will create an unwanted uh, uh, flow uh, in the mesh generation that's why I am uh, joining all these macros macros is nothing but uh, when we see some uh, phase in mesh mode that is a macro so that is why I am joining everything um, please carefully select while joining because we cannot join two different PIDs so there it won't uh, run so I am assigning to that PID and now I am I can join if interested but now I am not interested in joining that but I'm going for the logos again okay just uh, do a hard point delete and now I am interested to cut that okay I'm just deleting unwanted hard points and I want to set these regions to the door PID yes it's set and I am joining because earlier it was a different PID but now since it's PID same PID we can join so 
so I am hiding the engines and uh, those fittings now I am left with only wing I think yes we can name our wing uh, as per our requirement of our analysis so we are clearly seeing wing fuselage interface that we will uh, fi uh, set the property for those uh, entities which are nothing but the surfaces yes we selected the necessary wing fuselage interface we can go for naming okay take those fillets also okay I think we selected good can proceed center click right click new PCL and then name it as wing fuselage interface double click to accept and one surface is missed and you can just assign while asking press that yes here also we need to change in the same way okay we can hide mm, one more sticky oh we need to change this PID also to be the door so that it can match up I'm just joining the inner periphery uh, of the doors because it may create uh, some problems in meshings that you can uh, come to know when we are going for meshing Uh, now we can focus our attention for no, just flow streamliners so that can be first we can filter our wing by angle now we are left with streamliners first I set uh, for one streamliner and then I will uh, copy all the entities into that PID so I just named only one if now I am selecting all those things and putting it to that PID which is created now now I am going for uh, naming the wings yes to set PID then select all the wing portions you not everything which is nearby to the wing your selection will be accurate and uh, you no need to care much so I do so I did so naming it as wing and this also needs to be included into the wing this also yes now it is winglet so that we are going to uh, name so not that PID also we are left with only that winglet so set the name for that also okay so whatever we set here uh, is very useful for setting boundary conditions and uh, physics conditions uh, for our model in solvers so I just compressed uh, the model because it contains a number of uh, property informations but what I have uh, set is very uh, simple so 
there are some more things which have not been named so for these also I am going to set PID so that is in streamliner so I am selecting by that name alone and I assigned it and there are two more things oh yes it's winglets top and bottom that also needs to be set to the winglet yes set the PID okay now if we compress the file again we can see the change see now only all those what we named is what remaining and engine we can rename as per our wish here it is showing default shell that we need to execute what is that you need to examine that that is connected to engine I think yes engine national interface so I am just connecting it with that one uh, likewise I need to find for the same which was one more uh, yes the same here also uh, I think here it is uh, almost near to this is related to flow streamliner so I am attaching it to the same yes uh, necessary PADs were created uh, we we can call a PAD as property okay all the necessary properties are listed and uh, you can highlight a PID by clicking it into the name and that will be highlighted into our GUI so we can easily see and uh, go overview uh, over, our, over our CAE model yes you can check so each everything thanks for watching <laughs>